Hey everybody, it's Anon coming at you with another LP. This is Let's Play Donkey Kong. This game needs no intro, so let's go ahead and get the show on the road, shall we? Okay, that's weird. Why is there a file select screen? Ah, who cares? I don't, I don't need it anyways. I mean, this game is only four levels. This game is only four levels long. So, answer me this. Why do you need a file select screen for a f level that's only four... For a game that's only four levels long? 25 meters. Good old 25 meters. Good old 25 meters. Yep, that's what I was scared of. I seldomly screw up on the first stage, but whenever I'm right there, I'm always a little hesitant climbing up that ladder because I don't know if the barrel is going to go down the ladder or if it's going to do that. Sometimes I get lucky and, he, and it doesn't go down the ladder. There we go. Well, let's fail that time. Mario, if you're going to have a fit why don't you just grab the girl and take off instead of watching Donkey Kong take her away? And why is this called stage zero? We'll never know. Alright, 50 meters. This, uh... This level actually was not in the... Don't want to touch Donkey Kong, obviously. But this level obviously was not in the NES game. Actually because of uh, memory limits on the uh, NES cartridge. There's a little tidbit there. And again, you just watch Donkey Kong take her away. Why don't you just take her and run, Mario? That's the smart thing to do. Come on. Oh, I'm sorry, this isn't Mario, this is Jumpman. Mario didn't exist back in uh, 1981. He was known as Jumpman. Alright, stage three. Most annoying thing about stage three are these jacks. Oh, I always end up dying at least once to them. Surprisingly there, I didn't die to them at once. And once again, Mario just watches Donkey Kong take off with Pauline. Seriously, take the girl and run. Ah, whatever. We got 100 meters. And we got my least favorite enemy in Donkey Kong, the Firefox. Which are actually a lot smarter. A lot smarter than, uh... Oh, crap! They're a lot smarter than, uh, the regular fire. So the regular fire just have basic... Oh, crap, I fell right into that. Oh, well. Death music sounded kind of weird there. That was, like, that was unexpected. They got some new death themes, I guess. Well, you know, let me get, let's get this first. There we go. Oh crap! All right, let's not fail this time. Why in the hell am I doing so bad? This is Donkey Kong for crying out loud! This is an easy game, and I've already died what three times in the same level? You know, what? screw you. Get back over here, you Foxfire. All right, now I gotta wait for uh, for hammer to run out. Great. Wait for the hammer to run out. There we go. Done. Take the girl and run, Mario. Oh wait, that's the end of the game. All right, so thank you all for watching. This has been Let's Play Donkey Kong. I hope to see you in the next. What the hell? Okay, that's weird. Okay, so if you're just kind of playing along there and you've actually played the Game Boy Donkey Kong, you know that that's not the end of the game. And and the first four levels of uh, the original Donkey Kong is in fact called Stage Zero. Anyways, watch Mario take off to the city and get a good view of Donkey Kong's ass. And this introduce us, introduces us to 
what's probably one of the main mechanics in this game, which is basically you gotta find a key and you gotta unlock the door to pass the level. Save? Okay. Why not? Alright, so now here's how the game's gonna work from uh, now until the end. There's going to be basically three levels, and then you meet up with Donkey Kong. And once again, we get a nice view of Donkey Kong's ass as he tries to squeeze that fat thing through the door. Fail throw was a fail. Alright, and yeah, if you were watching and you were telling me to do all of Mario's cool moves to pass the levels, the reason why I wasn't doing it is because it was all part of my little ruse there. But yeah, Mario has a large... a large, uh... What's the word? A large, uh... large resume of, uh... of, uh, moves. Not... I'll just get rid of both here. Oh yeah, another thing. You can toss hammers. Mario can also do a handstand. So, uh, yeah. But more, all of, I'll show all of Mario's, uh, all of Mario's, uh, things in the next, in the next video. There's actually a little cinematic if you hang around, the, hang around the tile screen long enough, and actually shows you all of Mario's, uh, Mario's moveset. Shows you Mario's moveset. There we go. Alright, so, if you notice, I picked up Pauline's parasol, Pauline's cap, Pauline's hat, rather, and Pauline's purse. What do we get if you pick up all three? We get a bonus game for more extra lives. And I really don't care because practically at the end of every uh, Donkey Kong level, the game just hands you lives. Alright, stage one, two. Once again, these uh these stages, even though they look pretty easy right now, they're bound to get really, really difficult. Really uh, confusing as well. But overall, right now, these are uh, basically just taking a nice casual ride down Easy Street. Okay, now, some of these enemies don't actually hurt you. Like, for example, you saw me touch uh, that guy. That guy, I think, is called a Bao Bao. Bao Bao can't hurt you. He can push you around, but he can't hurt you. Oil, of course, can burn you, just like in real life. Uh, there's another enemy. Why don't you run into a 1-3? I'll hold off to ex on, explaining, on explaining him. But yeah, not all enemies are lethal in Donkey Kong for the Game Boy. And once again, we get to play another bonus game, and I'm just gonna do that. Uh oh, we got one. We got one. One up. That doesn't matter. Stage one three. All right. This stage. I actually got a little bit of a story about this stage. About one particular enemy in this stage, and that's that spark up there. Oh, double kill. Nice. Anyways, uh, the electricity death. As a kid. Always made me funny, made me feel uneasy. Just watch this. Ah. Uh. All right. Well, yeah, I'm trying to run into the spark because I want to show you this death. I don't know why, but this death always, just as a kid, always made me feel real uneasy. It didn't really scare me. It just, it just made me feel uneasy. Let's see if I can do time this right. There we go. I think it was that sound that it makes. That. But anyways, let's make the stage for real this time. Once again, another simple stage. I mean, all of these stages in the big city are pretty, pretty darn easy. Alright, I don't need the hammer anymore. But yeah, like I said in stage, uh, 1, 2, and there's another enemy there. That's, uh, I forgot the technical name for it. But, uh... Is basically like a trash can monster. I guess you can call him Evil Oscar, I guess. I don't know. I guess you can say that's my nickname for him. Alright, so stage 1-4. Every fourth level, you face off against Donkey Kong. Well, not really face off, it's just, it's just basically you gotta do that. Or basically, yeah, you gotta make it to one. So it's basically almost like the classic one. It's a little, it's with a little twist, though. 
Alright, the story about this game. This is the second Game Boy game that I've ever had. The first being Super Mario Land, um, which I actually LP'd not too long ago. I actually bought this game before my fourth or fifth trip to Disney World back in 95. I still remember that trip pretty well. We actually stayed at the... What used to be the Dixie Landing Resort, I don't know what it's called now, but I think it, it does in fact have a different name. Don't quote me on that though. That was easy. That was really easy. Yeah, that's my story about this game. I actually got I actually got this. I think I was probably eight or nine at seven or eight really at the time, not eight or nine. Anyways. We get introduced to a new little gimmick here. Well, that was a close call, Mario. So you basically gotta jump into that icon, and you can get to create a road. Now, these roads don't last forever, so... Anyways. Got five extra lives here. And you know what? Eh, we got time for a couple more levels, why not? Try and make it to 15 minutes here. Nice ass, Donkey Kong. All right, so uh, now we got this level, which basically uh, forced us to use these little things now. And I swore I've heard this theme somewhere before. Uh, but uh, that's beside the point. I don't remember where though. But anyways, this level is relatively simple. All I gotta do is basically follow what I'm doing. There you go. Level's done, and I think I inadvertently got a ba got a bonus game. Which is another slot machine. Didn't get anything. Yay. Oh yeah, yeah. anyways, those are uh, bonus games. It's either gonna be either a slot machine or a roulette wheel. All right, we got a new one here. These, these actually, these make ladders. So that's pretty self-explanatory there. So yeah, this, this, and the, uh, I do believe the next couple of levels really, uh, really just introduce some of the uh, game mechanics. So stages, stages one and two are pretty much going to be pretty easy. I think it's around stage like stage five where it gets hard, in my opinion. Around stage five to stage six. Oh yeah, and if you beat the stage in a low enough time, Mario won't be in a hurry. He'll actually come back and close the door for you. A little bit of courtesy. I swear we are just running through the big city here. This is the last stage before, uh, before, uh, stage 1-8. Whoops. Ah, I want to kill him. Hold on. Oh yeah, you can also climb down ladders, uh, as they, uh, disintegrate. And do this. And we should be home free. Actually, it's gonna be close. Oh man, that was that was easy enough. That was really easy enough. And once again, Mario, we uh, beat the level quick enough. Mario closes the door. Stage one eight. Last stage of the big city. This actually introduces a uh, new way to fight Donkey Kong, which is to do this: you throw barrels at him, or epically fail like I just did. This level's actually easy enough. Really? There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, he has a simple pattern, too. He goes it down the middle, then to the left, and to the right. And we hit the guy, and three times, three times, and DK's a goner. And once again, Mario just stupidly watches him. Take away Pauline. Don't be jumping, you're the one to let him get away. Alright, so we are leaving the big city and it looks like we're heading into some type of wood. Or a big forest, I don't know. Alright, new game mechanic. Levers. 
You saw what they did. I do believe we're gonna get seven lives here. Yeah, see how ridiculous how see how this game is just handing me lives? This game is pretty simple. Alright, so now we say goodbye to the big city. And hello to the forest. So basically Mario burnt down the big city and now he's exploring the woods. And this is where I'm gonna call it quits here. I want to thank you all for watching. Thanks for all the support. Hopefully this will be a great LP. See you all in the next video. See ya.